Welcome to Nerd Stalker. I am Adolfo Ferranda here with a very special guest, and you are Carlos Vidella. Carlos Vidella, how are you doing? All right, man. So uh, Carlos has a really magnificent poster behind him. But anyways, Carlos. Oh uh, yeah. By the way, my background is lame. The only thing I have is this poster of a head that has all the parts of your mind in it. So <laughs> sorry. As opposed to this fabulous background right here. Yeah. Yours is pretty fancy, you know? Yeah. It looks it looks more well-to-do than mine. <laughs> so, Carlos, I know everyone's dying to know right now, who are you? What are you about? Who is this guy on Nerd Stalker? <laughs> everyone's dying to know. <laughs> I'm dying to know. Yes. Um, hey, guys. Yeah, so I do a web video on the internet, and um, I started with a little company called Mevio, and they uh, were in San Francisco. I, I moved here in 2009 to do web video specifically. And I have a background in, you know, music and, and creating different art projects and things like that. Um, I've done films, short films, and stuff like that. So I got here in 2009, did Mevio, which is where I met you. Yes, yes. And, and awesome you were doing this show. You were still doing this show back yeah. then. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I was promoting uh, shows on their network, the tech network. So I was doing kind of uh, comedic-based tech shows and video game shows um, right on the web. Some of your users might know that show. Yeah. And then... Uh, I did that with Neha Tuari, and then I did Press Pause, mm -hmm. which um, which was the, at the very end of it we did with Dan Chu from Bitmob and right. OneUp.com. And, and everyone knows Dvorak, Crouch, too. Yeah. Dvorak, yeah. too. He's my boy. How do you do the – I don't know. <laughs> I know. I know. Dvor we had so much fun. I hope – did you saw those episodes, right, Tech yeah. Crouch? Yeah, totally great stuff. Yeah, oh like, I, like I, I told you before, I saw Dvorak at like a Macworld, and I'm like one of those guys like that's just – I was starstruck in the tech world, you know, <laughs> I walk up, I kind of walk towards him and then I just lose my courage and I don't talk to him, you know, kind of thing. and then I meet Carlos and he's like hanging out with all these people, working with these people, producing these people. I don't know how you find the gall. How do you tell John Dvorak what to do? I, you just don't care. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it's a little <laughs> bit of coming from the East coast or whatever, but yeah. like my personality is about just, you know, just gets it. Let's just create stuff together, you know? And that's, yeah. I, I was very, very lucky to have that environment early on at Mevia where, you know, hey, just do what you want. And if it works, cool. Yeah. And everybody in that environment, including Dvorak, was just open to my ideas. And we created a lot of stuff. So, yeah. Well, uh, if it's one thing you don't lack is uh, definitely a lack of not creating stuff. Uh, that's like a double negative, isn't it? Anyway, so, yeah, yeah, you're making a ton of stuff. What are you what are you making now? Yeah, so um, so after Media, I did a bunch of stuff. I even worked with GameStop. Uh, GameStop, I always do that. GameSpot. <laughs> They're gonna kill. They kill me every time I say that. Yeah. Um, GameSpot, and I worked with a bunch of great people over there. Uh, Ryan and Homer and John Davison, I worked with, and we did that show, Screen Tear, which might be some of your viewers yeah, saw. Yeah. Um, and I did a bunch of like E3 coverage, and I just did a lot of gaming stuff. And so then I eventually just took some time off, and then I went um, and got a job at um, IDG. Nice. Now, you probably don't know what that is, or you know what that is. I, I do, but tell the audience, what is IDG? Yeah, so IDG is a, a global company. They do print magazines all over the world, mm -hmm. and they also do um, – they're the parent company for Macworld, PC World, and this new company called TechHive, yeah. or a new brand. So I'm actually the video uh, editor, producer for all of uh, those three brands. Very and exciting. so that's what I'm doing now. Very exciting. Yeah. So Tech Hive, what what is Tech Hive about? Very cool. I mean, I didn't even know it was associated with IDG or those other brands. Actually, I'd heard about it. There's been a lot of buzz in the tech community about Tech Hive, and then me and you have a conversation one day, and and then you bring it up, and I bring it up, and we're like, whoa! And I was like, whoa! And you're all proud. <laughs> I know. I was like, you know, but that's awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's the newest, youngest brand for IDG. IDG consumer, SM, so CSMB, the consumer side of things. Mm -hmm. And so all everybody knows PC World and Mac World. Right. Um, you know, they're basically trying to create another brand, which is all the other stuff. Like, so smartphones and apps and games and, you know, robots, you know, anything yeah. that's like tech that's in your life that's, uh, that's not necessarily just a PC or a Mac. Um, so I kind of bring those things together. And, and my job there is to kind of, uh, you know, flush out the editors, show the, the world, the editors, because lots of times in these magazines, you don't see the people you know, behind these articles. And so I'm trying to create an atmosphere of, um, you know, seeing in the office, like one of the segments is actually called in the office. So the editors are talking to each other and, you know, just talking about the tech that they use. Uh -huh. So I think Tech Hive is kind of that younger brand. And that's, that's what's really exciting. And you guys get a lot of big names on Tech Hive contributing and stuff too. I mean... Oh yeah. A lot of people like are writing articles on there and people I didn't even know. I'm like, my buddy Damon Brown was like, oh yeah, I'm writing something for you guys 
the other next week. I'm like, really? Wow. <laughs> um, yeah. And, and the most exciting thing is a podcast like we're doing now is yeah. uh, we just started um, about we're 12 or 13 episodes in now uh, play this podcast, which yeah. is the Tech Hive podcast. But it's pretty much anything. The idea is anything digital that you can play. So like, you know, music streaming services, Netflix, oh, okay. we do Netflix stuff. You know, video games, obviously, are a lot of things, apps. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we talk about a lot of things, and we just have a really good time. Like, we're always having – we're, like, laughing, and yeah. it, it's similar to – Rat right on the web, you know, where we yeah. just tell a bunch of cool things that we like. Yeah, yeah. It's a good uh, uh, chemistry, too, of people. Do you guys mix it up quite a bit, or is it like the same group, or, or what? Yeah, it's me and Jason Cross are the, the co host and co-host, uh -huh. and then we bring in two other people for those two slots. Those are usually four people. Oh, okay, cool. Um, Alex, Alex Waro is the uh, one of the editors there at PC World and Tech Hive, and he's usually on it most of the time, and then we have different people. Like, today, we just had Veronica Bowman on from Revision 3. Awesome. Um we just have different people from the tech community and we just bring them on. So, yeah. Nice. And again, you're going to be on. Yeah, please, soon. please. Yeah. I will sit there and yeah. freeze and be quiet. No, yeah. you will not. <laughs> <laughs> totally, man. So what else is happening with you? Well, the biggest thing, drum roll, is this uh, Kickstarter. I'm yeah. On. All right. You didn't have to make me say it. No, I well, believe me. I've been telling everybody who wants to listen and those who don't. <laughs> Um, Kickstarter is tricky because you, you feel, I feel guilty because I have to be like, Hey, we, I have this thing. You remember this thing I was doing? Can you, um, it's pretty cool. It is cool. But, uh, <laughs> it is, it is cool. And it's not just my stuff. So I can say that, you know, confidently it's me and a bunch of other people who are really passionate about doing a show, a web series about video games, but with a mixture of Pee Wee's Playhouse. Yeah. So it's definitely kind of more Mr. Rogers neighborhood and Sesame street and there's puppets, and they all the show takes place inside this huge arcade. Yeah. So essentially, it's going to be you know about video games, and we'll probably talk about new video games, etc. But we'll talk about made up fake video games. Mm -hmm. We'll did get digitized and go inside the games. It's really going to be a fantastical world we want to create. Actually, I think Kickstarter is the perfect platform for this whole you know for trying to reach out for this uh, endeavor because it's. Uh, well, number one, it gets you really excited about it, right? So you see the the what you guys have done your video, which is really really cool. I, I couldn't even you know oh, do thanks. justification on what on what you guys have done to it. But I saw it as I was, I was like, wow, man, I definitely want to contribute to this thing. And obviously, you can contribute all different kind of levels. Um, Carlos, you could talk about that kind of thing if you guys you know if you'd like, um, and then be be a part of it or whatever, right? Yeah, I mean, like the levels are. I, I really struggled with the levels. I mean, I wanted to make them, you know, I wanted just like the like the thirty or forty dollar thing be like you're in the show because I just want everybody to be a part of it, you know. So um, we, we have some pretty great ones. I mean, the buttons and stickers alone, I want buttons and stickers, like yeah. just random ones. So I was like, that'd be fun just to have those. So like at ten or twenty dollars, you can get like all the buttons, all the stickers. We're gonna make these really cool. I can I'll tell you on the show because this is a secret. But the surprise gift. Is oh. going to be these finger puppets of the characters on the show. All right. <laughs> so like a finger puppet of me and a finger puppet of Artie uh, and a finger puppet of Gary and there, there, there's an arcade cabinet, so a little finger puppet of him. So right. we have some really cool like uh, gifts, and then later on down the road, like you know, fifty dollars or whatever more, you can actually be in the show itself. So um, yeah, I just want to get people in, involved in it. But I would say with that video, you know, it's tough because I, when I watch videos on Kickstarter, I go, well. 20 seconds and I, I just know you know I'm like yeah. okay yeah. I can stop that's enough yeah, so yeah, we yeah. just wanted to catch people's attentions you know so how would you or was it you or you guys come up with this concept and and the characters and tell us about the characters that you mentioned too yeah um, I've got to mention two main guys who worked on it with me mm -hmm. the main kind of co-creators of it um, Liv and Victor uh, two, which is funny because there's a Victor in the show too, who, who's a puppet, it's yeah. a different Victor. Yeah. But uh, Victor is a really great, uh, he made the puppet, he made some puppets. Um, he's just a smart mind and an animator and stuff like that. And he did some of the, the graphics and uh, we just kind of brainstormed me, him and Liv. And we all came up with this idea of it should take place in our arcade. And Liv is a great motion graphics guy. He did all the kind of a lot of that work in the video you saw wow. in the uh, intro video, yeah. and you know he basically created a brand new arcade from scratch and put us inside it. That's uh, and and the actual show itself though is going to be a real physical set. 
it's hard for me to explain that in the in the intro video. Yeah. But we're building a set, and that set's going to kind of represent the the loft area you see in okay. that intro vid. Okay. And then you might see some green screen, and that green screen will be kind of like the background of the arcade. Uh -huh. um, and so the characters, you know, we have Gary, who's my sidekick, who's a puppet. Yeah. Um, and he is going to be the – he's pretty much the, the jaded video game journalist, you know, like <laughs> yeah, all yeah. of them in one. Okay. Because uh, I remember you, said, you mentioned this guy's job. kind of a dick. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you know, I kind of <laughs> – now I'm thinking about it. Like I really want to make this a little bit family-friendly too, and so I feel like I shouldn't have said dick, but um, <laughs> he is. He is kind of a dick. But it's really quick, um, you know, so it's – Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. I quick dick. Yeah. No, oh, that's terrible. You got that deal. Um, yeah. So, uh, you know, I think the other character that's really funny is Zaxagon um, 3000, who's an arcade cabinet. And um, he talks like this. You know, he, he, there's a guy in Simpsons. Remember that little Weasley guy in yeah, Simpsons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's always like He's the always restaurant waiter or that. something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's always afraid of stuff. So this arcade cabinet is like an old school arcade cabinet. And he's like always afraid of everything. Yeah. He's like, um, I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that with my data processor. <laughs> and um, he's just funny. Uh, yeah. And then we have, a, I mean, a couple other characters. One is Mr. Pillbox, who's our mean landlord. And he always tries to shut us down. Nice. Because nice. that's what landlords do. Um, and then there's, uh, what else do we got here? Oh, uh, Victor Champ, who's um, a puppet done by the guy who did Hogwarts. Do you know the Moss Puppet? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Moss Puppet, yeah, which is the Walt Mossberg Puppet. Really? Um, wow. He's Brian. He's awesome. He's done puppets for Steve Jobs. He did Battlestar Galactica puppets. Jeez. Um, he's super cool, and he's working on – a pro basically, he's not here in San Francisco, yeah. so he's going to send us video of, like, a puppet via Skype or something. Jeez, that's um, awesome. And, the, yeah, and the, his name is Victor Champ, that puppet. So Killer. we got a lot of characters, yeah. All right, so hurry up and contribute people to that. Check it out, see if it's for you. Uh, with all the way from what, five bucks up? What is it? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I even did a buck. Someone said like, "Don't do a buck," and I was like, "Hey, it's a recession." No, it's not a recession, but you know, bad yeah. hard time. Fiscal cliff or pre fiscal so cliff. A buck, you get your name in the credits, which is awesome, yeah. and then you also get awesome. um, everybody game button stickers. That's so cool. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. So um, I would also say that, uh, you know, as, as it goes along and as long as we hit the funding, like if you're in the San Francisco area and you want to be like involved in the show in some way and you didn't even like donate, we're going to be like looking for people to be on the show too, yeah. you know? So, yeah. well, we're going to have guest stars like you and tech people and video game people. Mm -hmm. We're also going to want to have like the community involved in yeah. a way too. So, yeah. So what do we get info about you? What else are you doing? Oh, yeah. So just in general, you should go over to carlosriddle.com, my name, yeah. and just .com. Go to techhive.com. It's a great site anyhow. Not even me. It just There's a bunch of great writers there. So check out techhive.com. Awesome, man. All right. Thanks, Adolfo. All right, Carlos. Thanks, man. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. For listening. See ya. Side note, if you're ever at Walgreens, these things are amazing. Pretzel crisp. But wait, I should have put this on the on the show. Dark They're chocolate. Peppermint. They are. I got it now.